It's Tay with Tea Quilts, and I am at my quilt show location. We are having our quilt show this weekend, and I just thought that I would share with you some of the setup, and then I'm going to show you where I'm having a booth. So here are people actually putting up some quilts. I will be uploading a video of the entire show and I will do that when there is no one here so just want to see you show you how it's looking we're gonna duck under so but we're coming right along this is our brown bag area we've got all kinds of things on the table So you actually are buying raffle tickets and then each item has a number and then a number for a corresponding bag and you can put your tickets in any bag. So I'm back and I now have my whole area set up. I was going to show you some footage of me setting up but then I had other people coming over to help and then other people stopping by to chat. So I will now show you my booth so these are the quilts that I decided to hang in my booth I am actually promoting my long warm quilting service and actually have a coupon for new customers they will get either 10% or $10 off their first quilt whichever is lowest and and here is a sampler quilt that I quilted. So I got some examples of panto work in that quilt, custom quilting in the next quilt and all the other quilts. So just wanted to showcase some of my work. Then on the table, I have set up die cutting station. I am actually going to be cutting out stockings for my quilt gill. Every Every year we donate Christmas stockings filled with socks to a local foster care system. So I have all of those pieces I have already pre-cut um, for the stockings. And then I have brought some dies for the accessories. This is a holiday die. This is different circles for cutting berries. And then this is a bluebird. So I got some pieces cut and then I will be using scraps to cut the remainder. I have my studio ready to go with the stocking die on it. And then that's just my cover for my studio. And then these containers are going to be holding the cut pieces. My stockings are going in here and I will be putting the pieces into bags so I don't lose any of the small pieces. Next up, I have a few quilting related t-shirts. I have some scrap bags, they're $3 scrap bag and I've kinda got them sorted. It's actually a lot of fabric in here. I'm just trying to get rid of some old stuff. I have one book, some templates by Marty Michelle, Dresden plate and a set of fast turns that I'm trying to get rid of. I forgot my stand for my sign. I have my business cards there. And I have my greeting cards. I left the gift boxes at home. I'm still making those, so I will get those made as well. So then from the back, oh, and then on the table, I almost forgot, I actually put my string quilt up here to decorate this table because I wasn't going to be doing any work at it so I didn't want to put a quilt over there because I was going to be working on top of the surface and behind the table just got chairs I got my fan for tomorrow I got my containers where my cards were in tripod of course and then another container that they use. We use these containers to sort our quilts and put them in the right places so they're finished with it now. 
but then that's the stuff I had more of the die cutting in so that is it for now I will be showing you all of the quilts in the show and I will do that Saturday evening after everyone is gone for the evening and we'll have the ribbons on the quilts that won ribbons so see you soon hi it's T and I'm at the quilt show it is now Saturday and it's about 8 15 we have an hour or so before our show opens and I am going to get the quilt mobile ready if you have not seen my video on the Mariners quilt I'll leave you a link at the information button above and you can check out that series of videos so I'm going to get started It's so hot, the camera fogging up. So I don't run out of battery. I'm going to go ahead and talk. <laughs> I'm talking to this camera so that I don't run out of battery. I'm going to cut this off and I'm going to make adjustments and then I'll give you a walk around. Here she is. She's all dressed up. And I just thought that I would walk you around the car. And as I said, I do have like a three-part video series on the making of this. Each step as I was going along, it took me six weeks working every day to make this quilt. And I'll show you some of the naming stuff that's on it as well. So I'll come around to this side and show you my label. So down there it says the scrap mobile and then I hid the label in the quilt I didn't want it to necessarily show so it's in this area embroidered in green so I made this in 2013 we have a show every two years so this is the third time that I've had her out so it's going to be interesting to see if I have this car for the next quilt show. But that is all that I have for you. I thank you for watching this part and I'll come back with quilts from the show next. So now I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the quilt show. We have clothes for the day. It's still Saturday. It is 6 p.m. And this is our admissions table when you walk in. And then over here is where we actually have our raffle quilt, but we took it down for the night. And this is our raffle barrel. It goes out on that table. And then right here is our actual raffle quilt. I'll just flip it up when I get over there. Here we are selling used books and magazines. Very reasonably priced. 25 cents for magazines or five for a dollar hard cover books or one dollar and then this is our gill quilt that we always put up at the show and here is our raffle quilt la label 
I actually made the label for the quilt. As a gill, we all worked on the actual quilt, so it's more of a storm at sea pattern. And it just repeats throughout. This quilt here won viewer's choice. So it was moved up to our viewer's choice spot. And it also won second place in bed size quilt and it also won best hand quilting so this is an awesome show this year we also made the do not touch little mini quilts for the gill so gill members made various ones they're all different i will show you those as well so here is our first quilt here next quilt and let's final quilt on this area now this is our featured quilter each year we each quilt show actually we designate a feature quilter and they get a double booth and you get to fill your booth with all sorts of goodies so fly buzzing around me <laughs> so she does a lot of Civil War type quotes, and then she does a lot of wool applique. I'm sorry if I'm jumping with the camera, but this is serious with this fly. He is constantly around me. So, very nice booth. And then this is the featured quilters area as well. Here's another quilt. So I'm just going to go through the show and show you the quilts. Some of them I will not be able to get the full quilt into the frame. Here's another do not touch. Here's a quilt. This quilt actually won second place in bed size. A nice fall quilt. This quilt is in memory of one of our past members. And she had started these blocks and someone put them together for her and got it quilted. And then these items down here are all made by our past member. And again, another do not touch sign. It's another memory quilt. Mm -mm. This one is not a memory quilt. It's actually a quilt entered into the show. So it's not in memory of. This is a, another quilt in the show. This is Michael, the exploding star. And then another do not touch. And another quote here. And over here is patriotic in Pearl Harbor. I think that's what it says. I'm trying to look through the viewfinder. Next set of quilts. This quilt here we made in our scrap quilting club. It was our 2016 year long project. There are some slight differences in the patterns. Uh, you see this fly? It's bugging me. <laughs> so I gave them the option of changing quilts if they, changing two of the rows if they wanted. Some people did, some people did not. So here's their quilt. I also showed you this quilt in my booth, so that's two. Here's a third one over here. And then here is a fourth one. And it's just amazing to see the different colorations. And then over here is another quilt. And then this is another one of my quilts. I entered two bed quilts. 
So I had the start quilt before and this quilt. So then, very colorful quilt. This looked like something that I would make. Very striking quilt here. I love the pastel color of this quilt. And have another quilt here. I see my battery light is flashing. So I will just keep recording until it runs out and then I'll just start up again. We have some quilts on the outer side. This was a quilt that was entered into our hexagon challenge. And another hand quilt. This quilt here is the unanimous declaration of the 13th United States of America. And according to the entry form, this quilt was hand pinned. So he actually pinned this onto a bed sheet. And then another do not touch sign. This was a class that I taught at retreat one year. So it's pretty cool to see something completed. And this is another beautiful quilt. Have a nice Christmas quilt. This is a quilt that we did called Simply Woven. It's a motor bake shop pattern. We did that in Scrap Quilting Club. And then this quilt here won second place in the wall lap category. And this is my quilt that I entered into the show. And this quilt here was also a scrap club project. I forgot the name of this one, but it was a video that was put out by Quilt in a Day. Someone else got their One Life is Scrappy Make a Quilt quilt completed. <laughs> This is another quilt that was in the hexagon challenge that we had for the gill last year. Interesting quilt. I wanted to see if it was more like the four stack posy. No, it's just fussy cut fabrics or fabrics how they fell into the quilt. So very interesting. Here's the next quilt. This is a four stack posy where it's along the stack and whack line. And then this looks like just a scrap quilt to get rid of all your strips and strings. Next quilt. Beautiful patriotic red work embroidery. This quilt won second place in the wall lap category. This is my friend's chick jubilee that's in my group. It's very nice, I like her coloring. I like this, it's like the Begone Surround, something like that, I can't remember the name of it. And then I actually quilted this person's quilt, 
it was also a scrap club project it's actually the very first one we did in 2010 very nice quilt I'm really liking some of the neutral quilts that are in our show very nice nice tree quilt and this is just one of those fun fabric quilts make nice gift and I actually think that's the back of the quilt that won second place in the wall there isn't anything behind it this quilt won first place in the wall and first place for won first place for bed size, first place for bed size, and then best computerized quilting. The quilting on this is just absolutely wonderful. The thread actually blends in very well. It looks like it's a computerized panto, but it is just gorgeous with the thread. It doesn't overtake, but it's very nice. This quilt here is just a a lot of half square triangles. <laughs> Another nice scrappy quilt. And here is some more red work. Um, I don't know now, but at one time I know what did, and so I This don't looked like a charm quilt. And maybe, I don't know. Maybe and a string quilt. I like this quilt and this is another quilt that I machine quilted I showed you this one in a video and another do not touch sign I actually like the machine quilting on that quilt this is not a for stack posy or stack and wax style it's just a fussy cut of fabric but they're very pretty and this is a curl dough paper piecing quilt here very nice got the ladies are staying the night so they've got their bed to sleep so that's what that is and then it's beautiful quilt Over here during the day, we actually have quilt demonstrations going on. And then here we have a lady that's doing quilt appraisers and then she has all of her books up as well. So on the back side, we actually did this quilt in our scrap quilting club the first year. This is an antique quilt. Someone said that they got from an Irish uncle who was actually had made it in Ireland. So this is a true authentic Ireland quilt and she calls it traditional Irish chevron. It's very interesting and you can tell from the wear and it doesn't say on the label what year it was made in. It's a very nice quilt let me see what the blocks are these are the Civil War diaries by Rosemary Young so the blocks were made as a Jane Sapansy made this quilt so they're all miniature blocks I'd say these blocks are about three inches finish very nice it's one of our beautiful quilts Another sign over here. Please do not touch the quilt. <laughs> okay. This is my friend Sarah's quilt. This was actually one of our challenge quilts for my 
so so busy quilt gal group years ago where we had to make a quilt top with at least two different blocks here's that a nice crumb quilt you all been asking me about what to do with crumb quilts well here is one this, so it's the same pattern throughout but it's pretty cool she's got like more muted older pinks and then this quilt one best freehand or trapanto quilting so it won best freehand or trapanto quilting just beautiful quilts <laughs> got more do not touch <laughs> And a nice blue half square triangle quilt. Some rectangles. And a nice Christmas quilt. So one of the ladies is blowing up their air mattress. So you're going to hear that noise for a bit. But here's our next quilt. And then there's two quilts on this side. I actually did this quilt. It was a Gale project. Did mine in teal. Very beautiful hard quilt. Coming around to another do not touch sign. And then a couple of smaller quilts here. This is a denim rag quilt. It doesn't have any batting in it. It has actually a nice weight to it. And then an Asian inspired quilt top. On this side, got a stack and whack quilt. I actually taught a class at the Gill, so that's a complete completed project which is pretty awesome and here's a very nice applique I think it was a free block of the month at a time online but I don't think it's free anymore it doesn't have the pattern on it just information about who it was given to we actually did this quilt in my scrap quilting club but she made it into a miniature and then another do not touch quilt. It's a friendship star quilt. Another Asian inspired quilt. And big star. And this is my quilt made from Judy Martin's pattern. So it was actually in, I think, a July 2015 issue of the American Quilter. Over here we have a nice purple quilt with some accents and greens, really pretty. Got this fly, it's just following me around, either that or it's 10 of them in here. <laughs> it's a log cabin quilt, and this quilt won first place in the large wall lap quilts and then the I believe quilt it's actually a pattern got a nice red gray and white quilt that's pretty cool just four patches on point and then over here is a pumpkin quilt. Got another do not touch sign. And then a tumbler flag. 
and we did these button quilts at our retreat this year I made mine in a miniature and this is the wall hanger size Jennifer did the horse you saw this at our retreat in May when I recorded that and we did show and tell A nice memory style quilt it says my heart belongs to the Lord on this wall we have another do not touch quilt and then I have my Hanging too long, there's a robin's nest in my jeans quilt. It actually won third place in small quilts. This is my meandering north quilt. So you have seen the quilting on that. Very nice hand applique quilt. Another scrappy quilt project. And this quilt here has like crochet doilies and uh, snowflakes. Oh, look at this beautiful owl. And then we did this as a gill project as well. Halloween bricks. We actually did this one in the Scrap Quilting Club. The modified bento box was a Scrap Club project. And the disappearing hourglass quilt was also done at Scrap Club. And a nice scrappy half square triangles and flying geese quilt here. These are some quilts that's hanging on the wall of one of our vendors. Name of the quilt shop is Janie Lou. And then we've got the blessings baskets. We actually had them come to our gill last year and we supported that effort. This is the challenge that I did on my Facebook group last year to do this quilt by Victoriana Quilt Designs called Scraps Galore. And then this is a nice fabric with African prints and I love her choice of setting fabrics as it actually toned down the African prints. Most African print quilts can be very busy, but this is very toned down. This is my friend Sarah's quilt. It was for the hexagon challenge. And first snow day quilt so I got one more row to show you we have a category that's called quilters of tomorrow we had two entrants it's actually anyone under the age of 18 that are, makes a quilt and this is the first one and this is the second one so here's another do not touch the quilt sign and then more quilts this quilt here won second place in small quilt and this was another hexagon challenge quilt This is a cross stitch pattern that she added fabric around and quilted. The cross stitching on this is just magnificent. It's awesome. More Civil War. We've got a few members that are in the Civil War Club at one of the quilt shops. So we have a lot of Civil War quilts. Another Hexi Challenge quilt.
Okay, so you're here two other ladies in the background. They're viewing some of the quilts too, so. Here's another hand quilt. And another one of the buttons quilts. Another one of our Gill Project quilts. Miniature double wedding ring. She uses it as a table mat. And you saw Sarah's quilt from our challenge in April. This quilt won first place in the small quilts. Another do not touch. And this is an art quilt. And another art style quilt. This is my Nairobi quilt. This one I really like. They use variegated thread to do the hand stitching. And Mary had a little lamp. <laughs> So we're in the miniature quilts now, so I'm just trying to give you a view of everything that's in. Very nice hand work. Another Hexi Challenge quilt. Another Hexi Challenge quilt. Here's a sign for Do Not Touch. This is a cross stitch piece. Those little tiny pieces. <laughs> Very nice memory quilt. It was made for our challenge, the something old, something new, something borrowed, something blue. I think that one was too. A lot of these quilts were. There's somebody's quilt on the floor. I will. It actually has first place. for miniature quilts. It's very pretty. So here's a little churn dash quilt. I love churn dash quilts. Another little mini quilt. This is my little half square triangles quilt. Here's another quilt. I really like this. It has second place for miniature and then best domestic quilting. Then another, that's the miniature button quilt here. That's the size I made. It's a string quilt. And a crazy quilt. We did this pattern in the Scrap Quilting Club, but she made it in a miniature. This is one of those paper pieced quilts. Very nice. This quilt here actually won third place in the miniature quilts. Here's the apron that we did at retreat and a table runner. Just a small mini quilt. So we're still in the, we're actually in the miscellaneous section now. So here is second place in miscellaneous. 
nice little art quilt please do not touch <laughs> crazy shot lane it's very pretty I love the colors too rosemary allen here is first place in the miscellaneous category here's another item here and I entered my featherweight case cover this tote won second place in miscellaneous and then we also did this tote and this tote in scrap quilting club and then another do not touch and another please do not touch so I'll just give you an angle this is our brown bag table we actually have four tables of items and again you just put your you buy tickets and then you can put them into the corresponding bag for the item so I'll just give you a quick run of the items that are on the table up for grabs So that is it for this quilt show. So we are actually closing the quilt show. What we actually do is that we lay out brown paper on the floor. We have five folders that we'll put down. And we'll have every member's name that's entered quilts. And then those quilts I will be sorted back to these papers. So as you can see, vendors are now gone. And it the show closed at 4. It is only 4.30. So that's the start of the folders. And then this back part has already been cleared out with the wall quilts and miniatures. That is going to be it for this video. I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed our quilt show. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.